Hey all, Russ here over here TV. Welcome to the desert. I'm getting this thing set up. I'm just out here for a couple nights, so I'm not going to do a full, full setup, but I'll show you what I got. Look at that. I got the fan on. Solar is powered up. Everything rode good. Still got the TV strapped down. I'll just leave them strapped. I'm not going to take them loose. The flat screens. I'll just run everything off my laptop for a night or two. But I could, I could pull them out and utilize them. There's my lazy boy. But everything real good. I put those tubs back up over there. Okay, now look at the solar. My batteries are fully charged. I got the fan going. Look at that. 13.8 volts. Batteries are full. Here, I'll show you the inverter. That's the inverter. Inverter's not even working. There's hard with the fan because the daylight. The sun's really beaming down on the panels, and I'm basically running straight off the panels. And I got the entire trailer is powered up with the inverter look at that there's a 110 volt light right there so I can run 110 lights the fan everything off solar right now not too shabby plus I also I have 12 volt lighting all through this thing too right there I have my charging cords that'll charge there's my uh, Wi-Fi have that all set up so I'll get Wi-Fi out here that's that unlimited jetpack service I got off of eBay then also here's my uh, antenna I, I'm gonna mount that while I'm out here see it just plugs in right there them little jetpacks you can actually get an external antenna you gain about a bar with it which really helps out especially out in the desert helps out good and, of course, can't boondock without satellite radio. <laughs> Not bad. Got Cirrus. Just the economy package. So, all powered up. And that one fan, that'll keep you cool in here. Definitely keep you cool. And there's one of the 12-volt lights for nighttime. Okay, one thing I need to check is uh, my panels to see if they're dirty up top. I cleaned them not too long ago, but I'm sure they need uh, wiped off. And you want as much solar as possible. Let's go up and take a look. Yeah, they're dusty. And even that much dust will affect it. If you're ever out and you got panels, keep them as clean as possible, even daily. Keep them clean down. But you can see I got three panels. This is a lot of power for a, a small little trailer, 300 watts. Then I got the three AGM 100 amp batteries. But that's all furnished by Mother Nature. Plus, I have a fantastic fan in the back vent. That one black one there is a fantastic fan. That'll draw air through the trailer. And little. Five gallon propane bottle with a little propane stove. That's my little fire in the can. I have a nighttime fire with propane. So, but at least I got a way to cook, heat water, make coffee, that kind of thing. And that fire in the can's kind of cool. Gives the atmosphere of a fire without having to haul a bunch of wood. Then I got these uh, stabilizing jacks. I never did mount them, but you can still raise them up without mounting them. They help keep the trailer steady, especially when it's windy. So I'll get those put in. And check out my lighting. <laughs> kind of proud of this one. Those plastic blocks for leveling. I just zip tied three of them together and stuffed the light right in there. Look how steady it is. It sits good. So that's going to be my outdoor lighting. Look at that. Stick it right down in there. Not bad, huh? 
If I need the blocks, I just unhook them. Use them. So there's my outdoor lighting. <laughs> it does get dark in the desert, that's for sure. Well, I'll grab some Windex and uh, rag and go up and clean them panels. They're not real bad, but every little bit helps. When you're out here and this is all the power you got, especially during the day, basically dusting them off. I washed them pretty good a while back. They had a lot of mud on them. Okay, I'll show you the internet antenna. That's real temporary. I'm gonna run the cable through the other side. But there it is, it's magnetic. And that metal plate I'll screw down to the roof. So I'll have better reception on the internet. Wi Fi. Alright, all cleaned up. Got the antenna sitting up there. Good enough for today. I got a hose that'll go from the propane tank to the little stove. Instead of using them little bottles, those are expensive to use. So I'll just run straight off that big tank. Let's see if we can get this old radio going. Satellite radio. Not too bad. You know on satellite you get weather, you get all kinds of stuff. Working good. Alrighty, there's the hose. Got it hooked up to the stove. Runs through that little regulator there. And we got gas. You can hear it. It's working. Tank like that will last me weeks. I don't use it much. Alright, I'll show you right under here. Let's kind of line it up. I don't try to raise the trailer with it. Just stabilize it. Keep it from rocking. Especially in the wind. Check it out. See? This makes it nice and steady. Okay, I'm gaining on it getting set up it's beautiful out here in the desert really really nice so I got a way to cook the solar I got power chairs radio internet <laughs> I'd say I'm really roughing it <laughs> And let's check our solar. 13.8, straight off the batteries. Batteries are still full. We're running straight off the panels. And the inverter. Nice. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to track it when it starts getting dark, see how fast it drops. Alrighty, this is home for the night. It's kind of how I have it set up for the next day or two. Alright, this is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't get travel safe. Talk to you real soon. Take care.